Seven letter word rhymes with carob. Well, what brings you to our humble abode on this cold and windy morning, Inspector Gregson? I'm certain it's not for Mrs. Hudson's tea and crumpets. Likely not. It's murder, gentlemen. A very troubling murder. How unfortunate. Please, tell me everything. The chief accountant for the Bank of England, Oswald Mason, was found murdered at his home at 10 o'clock last evening by his wife. He seems to have been a simple, hard-working man, and on the surface there seems to be no motive. Well, what about the yard? I can't believe Scotland Yard has exhausted all its resources. Why are they turning to me? I am here at the request of the Exchequer. It seems that Mr. Mason was doing some important work for the Treasury, and the Chancellor wants to make sure that this gentleman's death has nothing to do with the work he was involved in. Have you any evidence that the murder is related to the Treasury matter? No. I tried to convince the Chancellor that unless some new evidence turns up, it looks as if Mason's death was just another commonplace murder that the Yard can solve. Holmes always says there's nothing so unnatural as the commonplace. You learn well, Watson. Ah! <laughs> yeah. And as soon as I finish this vexatious crossword puzzle, I shall look into the matter. Sir Adrian, we are investigating the murder of Oswald Mason. Capable fellow. Bloody inconvenient, this murder. Inconvenient? Mason was to have a report for me, dealing with some rather embarrassing irregularities. Do you feel that his death might have anything to do with his work here at the Treasury? Well, the investigation was dealing with some rather large sums of money. But a murder it doesn't make any sense. It won't stop the investigation, only delay it. Besides, all of Mason's papers were accounted for. What was the nature of Mr. Mason's investigation? Well, as you know, the Exchequer is responsible for the financial well-being of the Empire. We've relied on Bacon and Company to handle many of our investments. Do you know them? They are one of the largest investment houses in London. Yes. And six months ago, it came to our attention that they are in deep financial straits. They are not in possession of sufficient liquid assets to meet their current liabilities. They had invested in too many securities that were weighing down the London stock market. So, Her Majesty's government and Lionel Foxcroft, the governor of the Bank of England, guaranteed to cover the discredited securities. But when we audited their books, we discovered they had invested in far more securities than they were reporting. Over £1,300,000 worth. So Mr. Mason was attempting to trace the additional securities? Exactly. Have you any idea who is doing the embezzling? There's little doubt that Bacon and Company's directors, Michael Essex and Mitchell York, were hoping to profit while England slept. Standing guard, Constable Parks. Yes, sir, Mr. Holmes. Waiting for the yard to make its final inspection. So I'm making certain everything stays just the way I found it last night. Where was the body found? Sprawled across the desk it was. You can see the blood stain on the top. The fighter put up quite a fight, I must say. How was he killed? Ed was bashed in by a statue. Is there any indication how the murderer got in? Looks like the upstairs window. It showed signs of forced entry. And it appears that this is where he exited. There's a palm print and plaster residue. Yes, and there are pieces of plaster shards in a pile on the floor. Was it you who found the body, Constable? No, it was his wife. She came home from her sister's and that's when she found him. I was on my nightly rounds and heard her screaming. Then I came in and I saw this mess. I covered up the stiff and promptly had him sent over to Bart's. Then I gathered up the man's papers and took them to the yard. What about the murder weapon? Oh, yes. I had that sent over to Murray at the lab. Where is Mrs. Mason now? She was taken to her sister Dahlia's. Dahlia Farmer. <sighs> We're terribly sorry about your loss, Mrs. Mason. <laughs> there, there, dear sister. We know this may be difficult, but we need to hear about last night's events if we're to catch your husband's killer. Yes, I know. Well, I... 
I was here last night for her weekly whist game. She comes every Thursday. Oswald stayed home and worked on some papers from the office. The man had been working very hard lately. <laughs> was he expecting visitors while you were gone? No, I don't think so. I returned home at 10 o'clock and went into the study and... Ah! You tell him, dear, yeah. The place was in shambles. <laughs> Furniture overturned, books strewn about, and in the middle of it all was my poor Oswald. Ghastly. <laughs> Who could possibly have wanted to hurt him? I can't imagine. He was the dearest man in all the world. Why, only last week he, he bought me a Venus de Milo replica for our anniversary and promised me a special trip. I imagine it was Pettis because we went there on a honeymoon where we saw the, the original Venus. When I saw that statue broken into pieces, I, <laughs> I think that's quite enough for one day, Dr. Watson. Of course. <laughs>
She's not in, Governor. I can see that, Mr. Kent. What a sight. What a pity to see so many lovely ladies turn to fragments and dust. The British Museum. Well, she might be a bit untidy, but she is a woman of culture, she is. Yes, I can see that. Do you know where I could find Miss Blue? Left about 20 minutes ago with a young gent. In quite a hurry, I'd say. I was loading the luggage in the four-wheeler and I heard the bloke tell the cabbie to head over to Waterloo Station. Thanks, Alfie. Much obliged. Perhaps I'll hold on to these for evidence. We're investigating the murder of Mr. Oswald Mason. I can assure you, you'll not find any murderers here, sir. Oh, good heavens, if it were only that simple. No, you see, among Mr. Mason's papers was a receipt from this shop dated 31 March. Do you have a record of what he purchased? Well, let me see. Ah, here you are. Well, the man did have a sense of the popular. He purchased two Venus de Milo statues. It appears we delivered them both for him. Might you tell me where they were sent? One to Rose Mason at his home address. The other to a Mabel Brown on Tottenham. Oh, do you suppose he was having a dalliance? Mm, at this time I'm not <laughs> supposing anything. By the way, I do so adore the Venus de Milo. I might be interested in purchasing one of my own. Mm, sorry, haven't a one. Sold the last three to another gentleman on Wednesday. Kitty. Perhaps I can get more from the manufacturer. Who might that be? J. Small and Company. Have you heard of them? The name does sound familiar, but I'm not sure. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Billingsley. Good day. <laughs> 